Hello and welcome to this student video tutorial on how to create video presentations using Adobe Spark. My name is Jose Diaz. I am the online learning manager here at FIT. And the first thing we're going to do today is we uh, I'm logged into my FIT Gmail account and I'm also logged into my Blackboard course. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new tab. Notice I am in Chrome and to open a new tab, all that you do is you just click on this little plus icon and a new tab will pop up. Next thing I want to do is I want to type in spark.adobe.com. And at the top right hand corner, I want to click on sign in. I'm going to choose login with school account. I'm going to type in my FIT email address, which is Jose underscore Diaz, the number one at FITNYC.edu. You would enter your own email address here and then click continue. Choose company or school account. This will log you into the Adobe Spark page. From here, you need to go and click on this blue plus icon. You get this drop down menu. Make sure to choose video. Now, this is going to be the name of your video project. So, in this case, I'm just going to call it video presentation. And then go ahead and click next. Uh, these are all templates for you to choose from, but I suggest you go with start from scratch. Click on that at, at the bottom right there. And now this is going to load Adobe Spark for you. Now here, this is a video tutorial. If you want to watch it, go ahead. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click X and skip it for now. Uh, this is the layout for Spark video. This is your... Uh, main video screen at the bottom left you have the playhead right next to that you have uh, your slides and if you want to add a new slide you can go ahead and click on this plus it will add another slide as you can see now I have one two two slides at the right hand side you have your layout whether if you want a full screen split screen caption or title and text and at the top, you have the preview button, the share button, and the download. Over to the right, you have the layout, which is this here. You can select theme, resize, and music. So for the first slide, uh, we want to go ahead and choose title and text because we're going to add the title to our video presentation here. And I'll just call this video presentation. And at the bottom, I'll add my name by Jose Diaz. Okay, so I'm happy with the first slide. I want to move over now to slide number two. And in this slide, I want to do a split screen. So let's go ahead and choose split screen. And um, let's say I'm doing a presentation on George Washington and I want a photo of George Washington. I'm going to go ahead and click photo. Now, Adobe has a collection of free images that you can go ahead and use but if you have your own images you can go ahead and click upload photo and upload your images uh, by clicking on this button here you can also go through adobe stock creative cloud lightroom uh, your dropbox or google photos etc you can always pull images from one of these sources in this case i'm just going to go ahead and choose find free photos and I'm going to type in here in the search uh, George Washington. Click enter. And here's a nice photo of George Washington. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Notice my photo appears there. If I want to swap the image and put it on the right hand side, I just go ahead and click on this arrow pointing to the right. Now my image is on the right hand side. And actually, I like that better having him on the right hand side. Let's add something now to the left-hand side, 
let's put there some text. I'm going to put there George Washington. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, if I want to do a recording for this slide, I uh, go ahead and click on this red microphone icon. And once you click on it, make sure you hold on to the left click so that you're recording uh, as you're recording as you're speaking, right? So if I go ahead and click and hold record, George Washington was our first president. And notice I held on to the record button for an extra second so that my voice doesn't get clipped. And so once I let go of the record button, the recording stops. And now it tells me I have second seconds, seven seconds of recording. Uh, let's add one more slide. Let's add a third slide by clicking on the plus icon. And in this icon, in this slide, I'm just going to add a photo. Let's choose this one, Mount Rushmore. And I want to do another recording. So again, I go ahead and click on the red microphone button. Click on it and hold on. This is a picture of Mount Rushmore. Notice I held the button for an extra second again so that my voice doesn't get clipped. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with my three slides. The first one is the title, the second one is a picture of George Washington, and the third is a picture of Mount Rushmore. So now I want to move on from layout to the theme, right? And so the theme allows you to control the color, the fonts, and uh, the visual, the look of my slides. So for example, if I want to choose, let's say, Elevate, notice that the font changed and the color changed. So if I want to change the color to a different color, I can just select the color that I want to use and notice how the font is changing. For example, this one I'll turn to purple. If I want it to be red, I can go there and make it red. If I want to change it to another theme, I can go to, let's say, a little more flashier, like flare. There we go. And that changes. Uh, I'm going to stick to focus for now. And I like the blue color. Next thing you want to do is, after you select your theme, you want to go to resize. Make sure that it's set to widescreen, which is by default. You don't have to change that. Keep it on widescreen. And the last option here is music, right? So now you want to pick a song that goes along with the theme of your presentation. So let's say if I want to do, uh, let's say I choose tucking in, right? So I click on that one. And now I want to preview it. Also, by the way, you can control the audio, the volume, if it's uh, how loud you want the music to play. You can also upload your own music if you choose to do so. So I chose tucking in and I kept the volume pretty low. Let's go ahead and let's preview this from the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the preview button there. George Washington was our first president. This is a picture of Mount Rushmore. Notice that my voice or my audio didn't get clipped because I held the microphone for an extra second. Okay, I'm pretty happy now with my presentation. I want to go ahead and click on share. And then I'm going to click publish. Uh, this is another opportunity to enter your title. If you want to change it, this is your chance to do so here. Now, uh, you can go ahead and click on create link. And by doing that, it's basically going to generate a web link that I'm going to copy that link and then I'm going to go back into my Blackboard course, find the Padlet that everyone is uploading their presentations to, find my name in that Padlet. I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, web link icon and paste that link inside that Padlet under my name. So this is almost done. My link is being generated. It takes a few seconds for the video to to generate 
and after this uh, link here we go the link is now generated I want to go ahead and click copy right so you, you can highlight the link and do command C if you want to do that or you can do a right click and click copy now I'm going to run back into my blackboard course now I want to find where the video presentations uh, are and this is the folder that they are so I'm going to click on that as you can see this is the padlet where students are submitting their presentations if you don't see your name right away uh, all you have to do is scroll to the right notice there is a little uh, uh, scroll bar here that you can use to scroll and if you don't see your name here it might be all the way at the right hand side so for example here under Ronaldo Perez I'm gonna go and click on this plus icon now the web link is right here I'm gonna click on that web link and I'm going to right click and paste that link to this uh, URL right so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save and it's gonna take a few seconds for the video to show and there we go uh, if you choose to you can add a title here video presentation and if you need to write something you can write it here all right and once I've done that you click anywhere on the screen and your post will submit and um, if you have any trouble logging into Adobe Spark, please feel free to email me at Jose underscore Diaz, the number one at FITNYC.edu or any other problems that you may have. Please feel free to email and email me and I will help you. Good luck, everyone. Take care now.